Yardley Love's murder rocked the University of Virginia and this entire metro area. Well, now her mother has made it a mission to fight domestic violence. Suzanne Kennedy spoke with Sharon Love today about that mission and what Love wants to see happen nationally to protect young women. Suzanne? Leon Yardley Love's mother is using her grief to fuel her cause of helping young women get out of violent relationships. It's been nearly four years since UVA lacrosse player Yardley Love was killed by her ex-boyfriend George Hughley. In the wake of the 22-year-old's death, her mother Sharon has become an outspoken advocate against relationship violence. Today, alongside Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger, Love announced the desire to create a national day of action to end dating abuse. And we'd like to put it on everybody's radar screen. We'd like everybody to say this can happen and this does happen. One out of three will be abused in some way during their college years. National One Love Day would be held on May 3rd, the day of Yardley's death. The measure's sponsor says it would create much needed awareness. More than two million people are physically assaulted by an intimate partner every year. In fact, nearly one third of all female homicide victims are killed by either their husbands, ex husbands, or boyfriends. This public service announcement shows an app created by the One Love Foundation. It's another effort aimed at helping women identify red flags in their relationships. We've gotten letters from people from most anonymous, but how it's changed their lives and given them the courage to get out. Sharon Love says she knew little about the issue of relationship violence prior to Yardley's death. Today she is passionate about helping other potential victims. I think Yardley would be proud. <laughs> I think Yardley is glad that we turned her tragedy into something positive and helpful for others. If this federal measure is passed, it's unlikely that National One Love Day would be held before May of 2015. As for George Hughley, he has asked for a new trial because he says he was denied his right to counsel when the trial continued despite one of his attorneys becoming ill. A decision on that is expected by this spring. Live in the newsroom, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC7 News.